Uh, so yeah, today is our next Halloween video, and it's Halloween num look number seven, and it's Coraline. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I posted a picture of my eyes like this. Okay, but yeah. So first, I'm gonna list all the stuff you might you're gonna need. Some string or twine. Um, we got we made our buttons out of Elmo plastic, and if you're gonna use this, um, you're gonna have to order it before, like way before Halloween, because this takes for this took three weeks to come in, and we thought we were not gonna have enough time to do it. So yeah, I'll insert a clip right here how we made the buttons, the hair clip, and the needle. So now we're going to make the Elamorph plastic paper, I mean not paper clip, hair clip and the buttons for the eyes. So what you're going to need is some Elamorph plastic and this we ordered from Elamorph. And so if you're going to use this for your Halloween look, you should have already gotten it because it takes like three weeks to get here because we ordered it around the end of September and it finally just now got here. So yeah, so you need the black beads for the buttons, the white be beads for the needle, the red for the dragonfly, and this for these two for the dragonfly wings. So, and you're going to need something to stir with, I'm just using a chopstick, and then you're also going to need really hot water. And we put it in the microwave for two minutes, and it is boiling hot. So we let it cool. We let it cool down. Now we're gonna do it. So be careful. This is gonna be very hot in here at home. Mm -hmm. So here's the shape you need to make the plastic look like. Um, so yeah. So here is the dragonfly pin for your hair. I'm getting some foundation that's lighter than my skin tone and I'm going to put this all over my face because she is pretty pale. This is like almost out. Now I'm using this Pixie Nude like sponge.
So now I'm gonna get the sponge and pack my face with some banana powder. <laughs> I need a brush. Okay, so after that, I'm going to do my cheeks and my lips. So I'm putting the blush and the lips now, so I'm going to get my... I'm doing a really neutral blush because she doesn't have like that much of a blushy... Yeah, I'm Okay, so next I'm going to do the lips and all I'm doing is a light pink because she doesn't really have really pigmented lips. Okay, so now we're going to get this um, color right here. And we're going to make it look like it's bruised and not my natural skin color uh, where the button's going to be. So, yeah. Okay. So now I want to get the buttons. Don't forget to put the needle on the string and yeah. Now let's start applying. work so we had to use the liquid latex but yeah I got my eyes on so now we're gonna do the freckles so let me find my my pencil and then we're going to do the freckles and if you're wondering if I can see all these buttons yes I can so we're going back into this palette and we're taking the darkest color in here and we're going to get it, tap it, and then we're going to make a shadow. So now we're going to get some blood and drip it down. So I'm going to be using the drying blood from... And we're just going to... So now we did the blood, we put it on the buttons, and we put it on the string and everything. So now we're going to get my wig on. So I got my raincoat and my wig, and I think this really completes the look, and we put the little hair clip in. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my second favorite Halloween look I've done. And yeah, I think this is what I might be for Halloween. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time on Scooper 12. Bye!